Hello and uh, welcome to another uh, video here today. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, St. John Ambulance uh, Trauma Kit. I just recently uh, got this here so I figured I'd show you guys what's in it so you can see. So according to the packaging uh, contents list here it's the 85 Trauma 1 SJ Trauma Kit and this is what is all included with it. So we're going to go ahead and uh, open it up here and show you what's in it. I've rearranged it a little bit than how it actually came. Um, so I'll just go through all the different compartments here. I'm not fully done uh, rearranging it yet. Um, so it may not look the greatest, but uh, we'll show you what's in here for now. So in the compartment here, we have a emergency disposable first aid blanket. It's like a wool-like material, so it's going to be similar to a fire blanket or wool blanket um, for keeping a person warm. Uh, we have a burn sheet, sterile burn sheet, I guess if someone's burnt pretty bad. A eye injury kit with some eye wash, eye pads, um, so if someone injures their eye. Some uh, cool blaze sterile burn dressings with aloe vera, it looks like. Two of those. And an emergency survival blanket. That's the front compartment there. And in the side compartment here, like I said, I've rearranged a little bit. This compartment is my diagnostic, I guess, a vital compartment. Came with this flashlight here and batteries. Free uh, LED flashlight, not the greatest, but hey, better than nothing. Uh, comes with a blood pressure cuff, and this carrying case, and a stethoscope. It's definitely not the uh, greatest quality, but as a starter, it's not terrible. Better than nothing, I guess. Um, pair of gloves. I don't really like these style gloves. They're like the clear vinyl type gloves, but that's what it comes with. Something to upgrade in the future. Again, with all this stuff, it's you know a basic start. There's always the option to upgrade stuff as you go. Uh, the bag itself is. Uh, not terrible, but it's certainly not the most well to put together thing. It's got the reflective uh, strip here all along all four sides. Uh, this compartment here, I just have uh, some extra gloves in here, I believe. I don't have a whole lot in here right now, just some extra gloves. And this compartment here is the organized compartment, I guess. So, we'll open this up. So in here we have two ice packs, we have our trauma shears, a pair of bandage scissors, a pair of hemostats, clamps, some green soap, some hydrogen peroxide, medical tape, these are triangular bandages. Now, they come in these little boxes here, which are wrapped, and then inside it's a vacuum sealed triangular bandage. So you can, to save space, probably take them out of these boxes. It is neat though, I've never seen them come in boxes like that. I'm going to make a mess here with these. Came with uh, two pen lights, with your pupil gauges on the side. Again, these are pen lights for. Checking uh, pupil, pupils, uh, so they're not super bright, but they do what they're meant to do. Uh, it comes with assorted uh, roller gauze, some extra plastic bags, more gloves. Uh, and then in this compartment here, I put the gauze. So we have four by four gauze pads. We have two, what are these, five by nine, or sorry, eight by 10. Uh, combine abdominal pads, some more combine abdominal pads, five by nines. You have some 
pressure bandages, some compress bandages, and that's it for that compartment there. Shove everything back in this compartment and show you the main compartment. So, in our main compartment here, we have so this vest isn't actually included. So, in the main compartment, we have eight different sized uh, Oro pharyngeal airways, so OPAs, airway adjuncts. Uh, they go from, I think, 70 millimeters up to 110 or 120 millimeter size airways. SAM splint or aluminum type splint. This guy's rolled up. 36 inches by four and a half inches. Some glucose. a CPR face shield has a, a alcohol swab a pair of gloves and the face shield itself with the valve and some ace wraps just a sort of different sizes and that's it for the main compartment here not a whole lot there's uh, certainly more that I would like to add and on top of the main compartment, there's this Velcro removable compartment. I just have an extra pair of gloves in there. And in here, some more triangular bandages, as I was saying there. They come in the box, and then inside the box, they're vacuum sealed. So they do pack down to a pretty decent size if you take off, take off all the packaging. A large bag of assorted Band-Aids, butterfly closures, knuckle bandages, so on and so forth. And on this side I have, uh, there's two additional rolls of tape, some more roller gauze, alcohol prep pads, and betadine, I guess, or iodine pads here. Provo iodine prep pad. And more gloves. So that's pretty much it that came with this kit here. Um, as I said a few times there already, it's, uh, it's a good start. Um, certainly there's a lot that I would like to add to it um, in the future. But uh, yeah, that's a quick overview of the 85 Trauma 1 St. John Ambulance Trauma Kit. Thanks for watching.